Hello everybody, uh, I'm Kai and I'm back with another little video here. I'm just talking about uh, kind of an early review of my thoughts on the Harris Hawk after working with mine for uh, we're at about two weeks or a week and a half, two weeks now. And here he is. He's just comfortable right now. But I'm just talking a little bit about my thoughts about it. And if you don't know me yet, I'm Kai. I am a licensed falconer in the U.S. And I've been doing this for a little while now. Quite a long time. So, so far with the Harris Hawk, um, he's doing great. He's slower than a red tail, I think, to learn. Um, but honestly, he's been a really cool bird. He's been very relaxed, more relaxed than most birds. Uh, he likes to hang out, and he likes watching Gordon Ramsay every day. <laughs> so he's a kind of a funny bird, but really no vices that I see. Really no downsides. I'm liking the process so far for raising my first Harris Hawk. This is pretty good. He's been great. Wouldn't trade it for anything else, I don't think. Um, yeah, I look forward to getting him hunting and uh, seeing where things take me. So, for my first week when I had him, he took about four days to eat. And he wasn't very uh, malleable, I guess, as like a falconry bird just yet. So, it took him about a week to even, you know, eat off the glove. So I noticed that first off. Um, after I left a mouse on his perch and he kind of ate it on his own and that brought him out of it, it seemed like. And then he started eating off the glove um, on day five, I believe it was. So we're not that far out from when he first ate on the glove. And now he's hopping to the fist starting two days ago. So he's a little slower than most birds. But I think that's mainly due to him being very, very fat and just maybe his personality. I know some people like to train their hair socks and get him like outside and flying in two weeks, but I'm not in any rush here. And he seems to need to take things a little bit slower, but honestly, he's made some huge strides in such a short period of time. I'm happy with where we are in progress. If he gets frustrated, he baits around a lot, but he's not scared of people whatsoever or loud noises. Nothing phases him, really. Um, he just baits when he gets bored, mostly. So I've been changing things up, and I took him outside on a walk, and, you know, switching up his routine really seems to help him. But he's made huge strides from having to be hooded at night to now not needing to be hooded at night to sleep. And, uh, yeah, he's just been great. Great around other people. Great when we have noise going on in the house. Um, we have gerbils, obviously, in the same room. He doesn't mind them at all. He likes, he just likes to watch them. He doesn't bait towards them, nothing. He doesn't bait towards the windows doesn't bait towards the couch anymore. He stopped that within, like, the first few times of me put him back on the perch. Um, but honestly, he does great for being in the main room of the house, and, uh, yeah. I'm very, very happy with how far he's come, and, again, he's made huge strides even this week. He's been flying to the glove five, six feet away. Um, and I'm introducing the lure to him probably tomorrow and he'll eat off of that for the next you know few days and get him moving get him moving start exercising him start getting him actually hungry and I've been lowering his weight slowly mostly because one he's a baby and you don't want to drop their weight um as aggressively as other birds that and Harris Hawks you don't have to you don't have to bring them down a ton for them to work with you. Um, I'm hoping 
the end of the week this week he'll be on the Kriants. But we will see. We will see. I'm okay if it takes longer. Um, yeah, he's super friendly. He's not footy. Not anymore. Um, at night when I do hood him and have to hood him for certain things. So like if I leave, I have to hood him because he'll just bait and bait and bait if I'm gone. Um, he gets antsy and he'll jump off the perch with his hood on, but after about five minutes of being held and talked to, then he calms right down and he'll settle and go right to sleep. But yeah, hood trading's going well. He's happy. Um, yeah, I'm happy with his progress, frankly. And we're taking things one step at a time. He did really good today with um, jumping to the fist and I'm sorry, the noise. Sorry. It's these guys. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> the noise is probably atrocious, but this is what we're working with. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, I'm happy with him. I'm happy with how things are going. And that's my little update. He's just hanging out here with me. And normally he'll be either on my glove, on my hand, or he'll be right here and I'll be sitting like five feet away. So he sees me at all times. <laughs> my goodness, those gerbils. All right, so that's my little update. That's my thoughts so far. And I will make more of these thoughts so far as I go. Bye-bye.